Hi, I'm Brian Pfeiffer, aka The Marketing Meathead, and I'm here with John Cristani. This is part five of our five part series, and today we're going to talk about turning this affiliate marketing thing into a real business. And uh, I think we're both in this business, and we've yeah. been in, you've been in a little longer than me. I've been in this business sure. for about four years. You, what, about six? Seven, uh, 2012. 2012, so we're, we're almost, six, yeah. Yeah, six years now. So, you know, let's get your take for everybody out there. Uh, I think there's a lot of people out there that, oh, this, you know, this isn't, this doesn't work. You know, they tried running one ad on Facebook yeah. and it, it failed and, you know, they got this image of what, you know, what a business is online. Yeah. But I have multiple online businesses, yeah, successful. Yeah. And um, affiliate marketing is just one of them. And you have, um, you know, affiliate marketing business and you also do educational projects. Yep. So, you know, you've turned it into more than one business as well. Yep. And we have friends that are huge affiliate marketers that have turned it into even bigger businesses than oh, yeah. we have. Yeah. So there's there's another level above where we're at. You yeah. know? So um, so let's talk about that. Sure. Uh, <laughs> it, it, I, I, I have a slightly different opinion than most. You know? <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I actually struggled for years with this because uh -huh. when I started making money in 2012, I was doing that gold affiliate program with Kelly Felix. Oh, yeah. And I, in my mind, I was always like, I need to have a real business and a real business has employees. So. I, but I didn't need employees because I was making twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars a month sure. just doing affiliate marketing. It was just I had a good, I had some good ad campaigns running, and money was coming, money in. Was coming in. So what I did was I started hiring people I didn't need. Yeah, interesting. That did BS. That just because you had this like mind yeah. set that you needed employees I to need, have a business. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. And the fact of the matter is. Uh, to this day, I don't have, uh, I, I don't have any employees that are doing like revenue generating activities in my business. I'm for for basically six years, I've been the only person generating revenue, generating revenue and sure. building campaigns, and everybody else is like separate projects that have nothing to do with my affiliate campaign. Sure, interesting. So uh, if you're asking me if I've built a real business <laughs> doing that. Like kind of, but but on the same side, what I would say a real business is is recurring revenues. Okay, right. Recurring revenues, and when well, you could take a trip and you have ads running that are set up, and money's going to come in, not even, even ads running, yeah. not even ads running. Money's going to come in without you even being here, for example. Without me even being here, without me running an ad, even if mm -hmm. my ad campaigns die tomorrow. I get so many recurring commissions from like Bluehost and ClickFunnels. Ah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just we didn't have... even talk about that whole affiliate world of the little links and this and that. And... Totally. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other. But, but these are <laughs> recurring revenues that just keep going on. Mm -hmm. And um, you join affiliate program. You have to look for the right affiliate programs and the right ways of advertising to generate recurring revenues. But when you once you do. It's beautiful, and yeah, yeah, I still have my ad campaigns running. Yeah, I check them on my phone, yeah. and I'm still making more money. But the goal is, I think, I think a business is recurring revenues. Ah, interesting. That's that's my mind. Or processes. And there's tons of opportunity in affiliate yeah. marketing to get, uh, you know, recurring revenue. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's 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 pretty much what we do. Is like. You know, create affiliate links, and then we get revenue when someone signs up with our links. If they yeah. buy a hosting package or ClickFunnels, for example, and they pay every month, we still get a kickback every single month from them paying a membership fee yeah. of a product we don't even own. Yeah, no, <laughs> just you know, I, I make half. The link. You know, I make, I make half. Yeah, you know, just because yeah. we showed them the link. So, yeah. you know, one of the things we're going to be doing with our next product is we're going to be building out a really nice funnel, and we're going to give it away in hopes that they sign up for our 14 day trial through our boom. link and, and boom, yeah. because we gave them this awesome funnel that cost us a lot of money to build, yeah, yeah. we hope to get a lot of that affiliate you know, commission from them signing up on our link. So that's one way to do it. Um, now I'm a little bit different. I actually have like a yeah. full-time media buyer. Um, and one of the reasons I do have a full-time media buyer is because I have other online businesses that are websites that generate leads. Organically, we do a little bit of Google AdWords and whatnot, but I just didn't have the time to devote to the affiliate business um, full time because I ran yeah. another business full time. So yeah. that's why I hired a media buyer and then him and I have turned that into a really nice another reoccurring type of income stream sure. where you know we have ads running and campaigns running every day yeah. and money comes in and it's just like it's a, it's a beautiful thing. It's, yeah. it's a real business. I mean like legitimately we know a year from now with not a hundred percent certainty but with a very high certainty that we'll, we're going to make X amount of dollars 
in totally. March of next yeah, year yeah, based yeah. on just the last two or three years. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's what I call a business. Yeah. When you can kind of predict based on a year's worth of revenue, you know that you're going to This make guy it. has a real business. <laughs> you, you have businesses. Which yeah, is really multiple, cool. multiple. Yeah, multiple. Yeah. Yeah, and we're working on more. I, I got the uh, the e-com business. We're just trying just to get that going. To China right now. <laughs> we are on our way to. I'm on my way to China. That's why I stopped in LA to see my man John here. Venice so, Beach. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely, um, there's opportunity here for anybody that's watching this. It's maybe just coming into the space. Yeah. Um, I think that you know they've maybe been you know people out there have been burned by the different gurus and whatnot, or they just didn't give it a full enough effort, but we can tell you with 100% certainty that this is a real business and there's a ton of opportunity to be still make money in this business. If anything, it's getting bigger. I mean, we haven't even used the examples of Uber, or sorry, Expedia.com, Travelocity, yeah. Cars.com, Hotels.com. Every one of those sites have a, has an affiliate program. That's, Everyone. they're all, no, Expedia.com is an affiliate for all the yeah. airlines. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. and it's like, it does, it's a billion dollar company. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so these are, you know, hotels.com doesn't own any hotels and they're, no, they're one of the biggest hotel booking companies and they're just an affiliate. Vegas.com is a big affiliate. Huge you know, like, affiliate. Yeah. Those guys are yeah. monstrous, man. Their, their, their SEO is just unbelievable. They're you just Google like any show in Vegas, like Vegas.com is like number one. You can't even like mess with them. And it's just it's an crazy. affiliate marketer. So. Yeah. They're, they're just a middleman. And just, so, yeah, I mean, there's just so many different ways to take this business. I mean, yeah. and we, we were talking about this right before this video. There's a friend of ours that he, you know, goes out and, you know, he was a really good affiliate, like one of the oh, best yeah, we yeah. know. And what now he's done is he's become more like the main media buyer, I guess, per se, for like a big company that, you know, has a product and then he just buys all their media and they, yep. they like count on him to drive all their leads. And he's not using an affiliate network anymore. He's just like become like, you know, basically an agency for yes. this product. But the difference is he did a performance deal. So he's not getting paid a retainer like like a, like an employee almost. He's created a performance deal for himself so that, I mean, these companies are spending half a million dollars a month. Yeah, and um, he gets paid like based on his performance. Yeah. So if he crushes it and he's got a campaigns that are just killing it, he's making a fortune. So if you could imagine, he's spending a half a million dollars a month on behalf of these companies. But he's getting a nice. You know, but he's obviously. <laughs> his ROI might be 100%, so he might be making a half a million dollars. Yeah, 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 something yeah. crazy like that. So yeah, that's, you know, but that's, that's really what we wanted to get out of this video today was, you know, just the fact that there is still a ton of opportunity in this, in this business. It's not a sprint guys. It's, it's a marathon. Unfortunately, you know, you're not going to be able to, <laughs> you're not going to be able to be good at this like tomorrow or the next day. In fact, it took me about three or four years just to get good on YouTube now, yeah. you know, and I like, that's something I should have started three years ago, but I didn't, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm doing funny. it now. And, and YouTube is a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a traffic source basically. I mean, it's a way to generate, totally is. you know, leads. I mean, just think about the possibilities. You got Instagram, you got Pinterest, you got Facebook, you got YouTube. I mean, go out there and focus in on one, you know, traffic source, get really good at that and then build from there. You know, yeah. that's what I suggest to people. Find yourself a mentor. We talked about this, uh, I think it was a video uh, three or two or whatever. Yeah. Find yourself a good mentor, resonate with him. You know, really learn what that mentor is trying to teach you before you move on to the next thing. I think that's totally. the most important thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is that you just do not get that shiny object syndrome we talked about earlier, where you just like, on the crypto, oh, the altcoins are going crazy. And Let's learning go. what that teacher is telling you is not like browse through their stuff for like a week before you move on. Like, right? Like, okay, I know e-commerce, ooh, cryptocurrencies, like, yeah, you know, altcoins, like. I mean, that's probably the best advice I can give to someone is like, what I do when I'm trying to learn something, for example, like I've I've been messing around with crypto myself, and I've been trying to learn how to do technical analysis. Did you lose your ass? Um, no, I'm actually up. Oh, but, good. Not a lot. That's, okay. Not, it's not, I'm not up enough to just no. by the time I'm learning. Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> you know, not, not having <laughs> lost your ass. I know so many, everybody <laughs> talked about how they made a ton of money. <laughs> No, it, it, did you guys notice how fast it was radio silence? <laughs> yeah. All the like Lamborghini. Yeah. I just made a, you know, people were like checking their phones on YouTube. Oh, I just made a Lamborghini. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's and so now there's, more. you know, nobody's, yeah. I well, just, I just lost a house. Yeah, so the point yeah. was, you know, that like, I, I'm trying to learn how to do technical yeah. analysis, which is basically, it, it's, it's like another job. I mean, it's another skill. Yeah. I mean, it's legitimately another skill. And there's guys that, keep, keep this in mind, anytime you make money, 
on a market trade, you're basically taking someone else's money. That money's not just falling out of the sky, yeah. okay? So you're, you're beating somebody else, yeah. and you're dealing with guys that have maybe been doing this for 20 and 25 years, and how's a guy that's only been in it for three months have more knowledge and more experience than a guy that's been doing it for 25 years? It's not probably not gonna happen. Yeah. So you know, keep that in mind when you're out there trading your crypto and stuff, you're, you're, the money just doesn't fall out of the sky. If you make money, you took someone else's money. That's yeah. just how the game works. So it's kind of funny, but at the end of the day, the idea and the point we're trying to get in this series is that you need to find yourself a good mentor. You need to really learn the skills that that mentor is teaching you. Don't just take the course once and try one Facebook ad or one native ad or, or whatever you do and it doesn't make money. There's, there's been times where we've gone silent with making money for a month or two until we hit another campaign. I mean, it, we're testing, we're, you know, maybe one day we're making money, one day we're losing money, but then all of a sudden we hit that campaign and boom, we're good for like six months, we're crushing it, you know? Yeah. And it's just the way the business works, unfortunately. I mean, last year around Christmas time, the cost of ad traffic on Facebook went through the roof. Yeah. We couldn't make money. We just couldn't make money. We tried everything. We just could not make money. We were losing money, we were making money. One day it just wasn't consistent. But then as soon as January rolled around, boom back in the money again. So, you know, it's, it's just the nature of the beast. You got to stay consistent. You got to learn the skills and you got to advance yourself. I'm Brian Pfeiffer. It's John Cristani. John Cristani. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. Follow John at, uh, John Cristani. Uh, j just search my YouTube channel, <laughs> but it's, somewhere. I'll put a link below Yeah. and uh, follow John. Somewhere. He's a good dude. He's always got good content. He likes to take a lot of hikes and talk about, uh, you know, motivational stuff. Good stuff. Four hour work week <laughs> with a baby. I think four hour work week with a baby. Uh, that's right. But he's good at what he does. So that's that's the most important part. He's a great mentor and we learned a lot from him and you know we're taking it to the next level now. And we we'll look forward to seeing all you guys in the future. Talk to you soon. Peace.